This is a recording on how to set up a student's iPad for assessments to be locked in a single app. So what you want to do is you go to settings. Under general and accessibility, there's a setting called guided access. In guided access, the easiest thing to do is to turn it off, turn it back on. You can tell your students to do that, to turn it off, to turn it back on. Okay, it's set, period. Now, go back to your home and go into whatever app you want to lock down. So let's say they're taking a quiz on Moodle. I select Safari or have the students tell the students to select Safari. So here they are. I have them go into Moodle, the uh, web page that I want them to get on. Now the task is to lock them in. So I tell them to triple click the home screen. Guided access. Okay. Now what they can do is I tell them select the part of the screen that I want to lock down. And so have them select the tabs and the main toolbar. That way they can't open up new tabs or search the web. They're stuck into this tab, right? So it's select, selected. Okay. I also want to look at the bottom at hardware options and I want to turn motion off so that they're stuck in portrait mode from their iPad. Okay, the rest you can leave on uh, and deal with it. Now that it's set, you have the part of the screen that you want them to not be able to touch, that's that opening top bar, and you have, um, you have it locked to where they can't switch it to portrait and landscape. Great, now have them push start and enter passcode. Now you tell them to leave it here and this is where you walk around the classroom and enter in a select passcode that you create at the time that will lock into the app. And the only way they can get out is for you to enter that passcode back in. So you put in a passcode. I'll do one, two, three, four. Don't do that. You re-enter it, one, two, three, four. Done. Now they're locked. And as you can see, I can't touch the top bar at all. And if I turn my iPod, it won't turn at all. So now all they can do is be stuck in Moodle, okay? That works if you want to make a quiz on Socrative or any other type of assessment tool or app you want to use. Now the students are locked in. The only way they can get out is by triple clicking the home screen and you entering the passcode. I enter it in, we can end it, and they can go on their way. A great way to lock out access to other apps or other tabs on the internet. Now that we know the basics of guided access, here's how you should start the class to make it easy, the general instructions for the whole student body uh, in your classroom. Have them go to settings, go to general, accessibility, guided access, and have them turn off and on guided access. That resets the passcode settings. Back to the home screen and have them go into whatever tool it is uh, that you use. Uh, so maybe it's Socrative. So they go into Socrative. Here they're in Socrative. So now you tell them Socrative, you don't need to lock down any part of the screen. So tell them to triple click the home screen and wait for you to walk around and push start and enter in the passcode. Now they're locked into Socrative. Easy enough. If you want to do Safari, let's say you're doing a Moodle quiz. Have them go into Safari, have them triple click the home screen in Safari, and tell them to highlight the top bar so it's highlighted so you don't have to do that task. Now they wait for you and you walk around, you click start and enter the passcode, make sure that that top bar is highlighted so they can't open up new tabs or go to a different access spot in the web and search for an answer. Socrative, Safari, two easy approaches, but this is the first step that you want the students to do so that all you need to do is walk around the classroom and enter in your passcode. Now the students are locked in and they can't use that, they can't leave, and it tells them you can't do anything except for stay in this app.